Okay, welcome back. Accelerated math objective, determine the volume of a sphere or hemisphere. A hemisphere is half of a sphere, so we'll see that. That's half of a sphere. And volume is talking about the cubic measurements or cubic units that will go into it. Uh, big numbers, but uh, the formula is not too crazy. This is a little four-thirds part, so let's take a look at it. They're going to give us a radius here. The formula is four-thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so that's the volume of a sphere. Kind of crazy looking formula. Now, the answers here on this particular one are in decimals, so I'm actually going to use 3.14 for pi. So I've got 4 thirds times 3.14 times the radius of 19 raised to the third power. All right, so the calculator I have over here doesn't have the best features on it, so I'm going to go ahead and get 19 to the third power, which just means 19 times 19 times 19. You may have an option on your calculator, hopefully, that uh, lets you raise 19 to the third power. You, On most calculators, it's 19. You hit the little roof button. They call that a carrot in mathematics. I call it the roof, and raise it to the third power, and you hit enter, and you should get this 6859 number that I got. So I'm going to put that in there times the 3.1 4 and times 4 thirds. The 4 thirds is a little weird too and I don't have a frank fraction uh, function on here so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do parentheses. No I'm not. I don't even have that function. Let me go to my tools and get the other calculator. No I don't I don't have that. Okay so I know that one I happen to know that 4 thirds is 1.333333 and that's just 4 I guess I could have done this. 4 divided by 3. Get that answer. Okay. So 4 divided by 3, that's the 1.3 repeating. Now times that number, times 3.14, and times 68.59. Sorry for all the confusion there. And I get 28,716.3, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to round it off there. And this is in inches, and it's a cubic measurement, because that's what volume is. So 28,716.35. A um, little bit of rounding difference, probably because of my calculator. All right. All right. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Volume of a sphere that has a diameter of 18. A minute ago, we had a radius. All we're going to do is take that diameter, which is the distance all the way through the center and through the end of the, to the sphere, and we're just going to divide it by 2. Divide that 18 by 2 and get 9. That's our radius. Another thing that's different about this one is all the answers are in terms of pi. So that's kind of good news. Uh, so I'm going to go 4 thirds pi r cubed, 4 thirds. I'm going to leave the pi in there. And the radius of 9 is cubed. So over here, again, because of my calculator, I'm going to do 9 times 9 times 9 and get my 729. And I'm going to, uh, so that's 4 thirds pi 729. I'm going to use a little commutative property of multiplication and rearrange those and I'm going to do 729 times. Now I'm going to go over here and do the 4 divided by 3 first to get my 1.3 repeating times 729 and I get 971 971.9 or probably 972 and the pi is still there. Inches cubed. 972 pi inches cubed. All right, now we're looking at a hemisphere. I told you earlier that that was half. Hemi is the uh, prefix for half. So we got a half of a sphere, and our formula was 4 thirds pi r cubed. We'll just do that, and we'll cut it in half. Simple enough. So take that radius, plug it in there, and uh, work it out. Take the answer and divide it by 2. 4 thirds pi. We gave a radius of 42. That's to the third power. We're going to divide all that by 2 after we get that answer. Notice everything's in terms of pi, so I get to leave that out. So I've got 42 times 42 times 42. Whew, it's going to get big. 74088. And then I have that 4 divided by 3 on the front end, so 4 thirds times my 74. 
98,000, blah, 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 pi, but I'm going to divide it by 2 because it was only half of that, so 4, 9, 3, 9, or round it to 2, pi units, in this case it's centimeters cubed, 4, 9, 3, 9, 2, there it is. Of course, they left that other answer in there because they want you to, well, they don't want you to, but that's a common mistake to not divide it by 2. Okay, we're getting there. The area of the base. Okay, so this time they're going to tell me about the area of the base of the hemisphere. They're telling me that it's 81 pi. We know that the area and the base, of course, what does that base look like? Ah, that's right, it's a circle. And we know the area of a circle is pi r squared. So we can find the radius by backing out of this or solving this for r. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi. And that cancels the pi out. And I've got r squared equals 81. Well, to get rid of this little exponent here, I'm going to square root that. And square root that side, and i got r equals 9. So I've got a radius of 9. And now I'm going to go in, and again, it's a hemisphere, so it's only half. So I'm doing 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is 9. A minute ago, I believe 9 came out to 729. Still have the pi. I got the 4 thirds. I'm going to end up dividing all that by 2. Y'all were going to think I was going to forget that. So let me clear all this. 4 divided by 3 times, there's that familiar 1.333, 729. 972, that's 972 pi, but i got to divide it by 2. 486 pi inches cubed. All right. Circumference. So this time again, they're not telling me the radius, but they're giving me some other measurement. Circumference is 24 pi, and we know the circumference formula is, come on, you know it, you know it, it's either pi d or 2 pi r. All right, and we're going to solve it for r because we need the radius for our formula. So we're just dividing both sides by two pi. Two pi's cancel out. We got r equals these pi's cancel out because anything divided by itself is one. We're left with 24 divided by two. That's 12. So the radius is 12. Go straight to the formula. Four thirds pi r cubed. Four thirds pi. The radius in this case is 12, and I do not know what 12 cubed is. So. And if I did, I would need to find some extra t stuff to do on, in my spare time. All right, so 4 thirds pi 1728. So I'm going to do 1728 times 4 thirds, which I know is 1.3333 repeating. And I get 2303.999 or 04. Pi, that's going to be in something cubed, yeah, inches cubed. So 2304, 2304 inches cubed. Last one, hemisphere. So we're going to divide this one in two. Uh, they're asking me to use 3.14 for pi. I actually don't like that because it's bigger numbers or whatever. But anyway, uh, we're going to go with it. They give me a diameter. What am I going to do? I'm going to cut it in half to get the radius of 4. Don't forget that. So the radius is 4. 4 thirds pi. Let me stick that radius in there. Cubed. 4 cubed. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4, 64. So I got 4 thirds pi, 64. And let me do that on there. 1 point, that, let me, 4 divided by 3. That familiar 1.3333 times 64, 85 times what? Pi. No, 3.14. 267.95. It looks like 267.95 centimeters cubed. You are on. Go get them.